Hey what's up guys, it's your boy Dre, back at again with another video. As you guys know, I did mention in my West Ham video, which you will see first, I will be going out of town probably Wednesday and returning till Friday, so I'm recording a bunch of videos in one day and I'm gonna edit them the same day and the day after, try to get you a bunch of videos. So in this video specifically, I'm a, it's not really a new series, but I'm gonna announce it as a new series and if you guys do enjoy it, you guys can request videos for me to do to continue the series. So this series will be called Wonder Kid Review. So uh, context clues, you guys should know, Wonder Kid Review, we're gonna take a Wonder Kid and I, uh, let's see how he grows and transfer him teams almost every season. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, uh, depending how this one goes, but yeah. So basically we're gonna review how how good a player does over a couple of seasons. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell, get notified anytime we do post. If we have just returned subscri subscribers, our next goal is 200 obviously, so that'll help a lot if you click that subscribe button. But anyways, let's get into the video. So for today's Wonder Kid review, for the first ever, we will be doing Diego Linus. I do have uh, maybe two videos planned about this, other than this one, that you guys will see throughout this week. So obviously, if you guys do leave suggestions when you see this video, and you guys don't see it, it's not me ignoring you. I'm just out of town, and these videos are already recorded, so... Obviously, I went for probably my favorite Wonder Kid in the world because he's Mexican, Diego Linus. So, Diego Linus has had a pretty decent career so far. I bet this he hasn't had the best though. So, for, he did start for America, he made his debut in 2017. And from 2017 to 2019, he did have 39 appearances, 5 goals. is not too bad for a youngster and for a winger. And as of now, he did join Betis 2019. He has 48 appearances, but no goals. But however, in the national team, in the U17s, he did have six appearances with two goals. And with U20s, he had 10 appearances with no goals. Uh, U21, eight, eight appearances with one goal. And the U22 with two appearances and no goals. But however, since 2018, he's been in the Selección Mexicana, the main team. He has had 14 appearances and three goals, which is not too bad. So, so us Mexican fans and me as well like to consider him the Mexican Messi. I'm not saying he will be as good as Messi. He will, he will never reach the numbers Messi has. But the way he plays, the way he dribbles, he has such a finesse when he plays. Like, if you guys have not seen him play, make sure to see him play. He's such an amazing player. I really do hope he does do better in this bit, this side. He, uh, recently, towards the end of the season, he has been playing a little bit more. Because in the first season he was there, he was like frozen out. He didn't play too much. As well as the beginning of this season. But uh, as the time has been going on, he's been playing a little bit more. So in today's video, you guys will see how much he grows and how he does. Hopefully he does pretty well. I'm really backing him. So basically what I'm going to do is sell everyone in this position in the squad. So he is the only right mid in the squad. So that way um, we can go through the seasons and see how he does. And what I'm planning to do in every transfer window, I'm going to see if he gets an offer. If he gets an offer, I'm going to go ahead and transfer him depending if it's a, a big step up or if he deserves it and then we'll go ahead and use a cheat engine to transfer ourselves to that team and continue to follow him so basically it's just seeing how good he'll do but anyways let's get into this video so as you can see here i'm gonna go ahead using the cheat engine with unlimited releases release every right mid or right winger in the squad so there isn't too much so i'm pretty sure the old linus will get the most game time out of all the right mids hopefully uh nothing does happen like i said this is just a test run rc <clears throat> since I, to be honest i don't have enough ideas from you guys to make a bunch of videos i do have one which is going to be the india rebuild which you will see not the india rebuild i'm sorry basically can india survive in the premier league i'll probably change that a little bit because like with the greece one it didn't work obviously they didn't make it in the premier league um only one season and they relegate so i might change it to league one and see how far they grow it just depends maybe i'll do the premier league just to make it a little interesting but anyway so so like i said we're gonna do the same format we usually do for experiments except a little quicker we're not really gonna get like the table more so uh, like more so we're gonna look at, look at it and say oh we, we may we're at this point position and we're gonna go straight to the stats so i'll see you guys in january and by the way there's gonna be no transfers in this first season until the next se second season i'm not sure if I sh I'll, I'll probably transfer list them see what comes and if there's a good offer i'll go ahead and do it but if there's not a good offer you guys will just see me go to january of the second season but anyways let's go to january of the first season and see how the old lightness does okay so as you can see we have regenerated. Let's quickly look at the league table and then go to straight to Diego Linus and look at his stats. Okay, as you can see, this Ropez he said is not doing too well. This this squad isn't the strongest. 18 games played, 4 wins, 5 draws, and 9 losses with 17 points. Wait, uh, 17 points, yeah. I did see they're in the Europa League, how they do in the Europa League. And they did qualify, actually, so they got top of the group with 12 points, 3 wins, 3 draws. But let's go to the main man, Diego Linus. So, hopefully he has been playing. Hopefully uh, we didn't make a mistake here. Let's go to Diego Linus. Let's see. Okay, so right here. So 19 games played, so that means he's playing... Pretty much almost all the time, all games. One goal, one assist is not really too good. Um, I was thinking about making, maybe making him a right wing, but we're just gonna keep it right here, at least for this club at Robertis. We're gonna keep him here at right mid. So he has grown up a plus one uh, halfway through the season. So 
It's not the best growth. Uh, some, I was expecting maybe a little bit better, but anyways, let's go ahead and see him to the end of the season. Hopefully, he does pick up his form. Okay, so we have reached the end of the season, and as you can see, no Europa League final, but we'll still see how far we went. But anyways, let's go look at the league table real quick, and then go to Diego Linus. So as you can see, this Real Betis side did pick it up a little bit from 17th place to 13th. 38 games played, 11 wins, 9 draws, 18 losses, 46 goals, and 42 points. As for the Europa League, how did we do? We're up to where did they go? Okay, so it looks like, looking like maybe the round 32, probably lost in the first round. Yeah, we did lose to Olympiacos in the first round. As for the Copa España, how far did this team make it? And uh, I feel like they lost priority. So they lost in the round of 16 to Real Madrid, a tough, tough side. Let's move on to the old Linus and see how he has done so far. So looking at the old Linus, um, I, I feel like he's just not a goal scorer, you get me? So he's more of a dribbler, uh, creates stuff, maybe also doesn't get assists. Three goals and one assist is not the best. He has shown some growth, which is really good. 6.10 overall rating, but in La Liga Santander, 5.9. So he didn't have the best season, to be honest. So um, we'll see if we get any offers next year, next season. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer list them, and if it's a step up, we'll go ahead and put them. Because like I said, also it, it does. Maybe he doesn't have the best team around him. I know Fekir is pretty good. I know a lot of these players are pretty good, but like I said, uh, maybe just uh, not the best team is around him providing a service, or maybe he's just doing bad. But like I said, uh, it's also it's really hard um, not sending players for this team, especially because we're just focusing on the O-liners. But like I said, his price did go up 76%, so he is now worth. 18.5 million he does have release clause so maybe someone will sign him this season but anyways let's go into the second season transfer list them and see if we get any offers okay so kicking off the new season like i said i was gonna transfer this diego linus okay um we're still gonna release robert just in case we don't well i'll, I'll wait on it if we don't end up setting if we don't end up moving with diego linus we'll go ahead and just get rid of robert so he can get more game time i feel like maybe he will come out a little bit out of his shell this season but depending on the team he moves in we might change his position but anyways let's go ahead and just sim a couple of days like the whole two months let's see if he gets any offers okay so i was just simming through the season little by little and as you can see so i did transfer this to him we didn't get an offer though his release clause was met so Villarreal. so if he does accept it we have no choice but to follow him to Villarreal. so like i said Villarreal is probably a step up there's a better squad so maybe he can uh, perform a little bit better with the players around him so let's sim a couple of days to see if he actually does transfer and then if we he does we'll go ahead and follow him so i'm going to sim like three days Let's see if he's already transferred or he rejects it, actually. What if he wants to stay here at Betis? And nothing yet. Um, yeah, nothing yet. I want to go ahead and continue. Let me just double check with the transfers. Um, if he maybe already left. I don't think he's left. Yeah, he hasn't left yet. So a couple more days more. Let's see what he says. If not, we'll continue simming till he gets an offer. Let's go to the 31st. And now that we're in the 31st, I'm pretty sure he actually should be gone now. And yes, he's been sold. So the Royal Betis do get 90 million. And so basically... What I want to do is I want to get all his value and at the end sum up his transfer values throughout. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 24 million down, which, yeah, 24.1 mil. Okay, so I want to go ahead and use the cheat engine, go to Villarreal and follow him. So as you can see here, we have received the offer for Villarreal. We're going to go ahead and accept it and follow Diego Linus. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the squad, see what's the best way to play him. Maybe we'll move him to the right wing. Uh, so we're just going to try and get the best out of the players. Get the best out of the line so Townsend's here, so that's gonna be a problem. Also, is Lamela and Chaguese and Raba. So, we're gonna have to go and sell all of those. So, they do play 4 4 2. Okay, they have pretty good strikers. So, maybe we're gonna stay in the 4 4 2, keep the line as a right mid. We're just gonna go ahead and put the best team just to see the best team. So, as you can see, they have a pretty good team. They might even challenge uh, for the Europa League this year. I'm, I'll double check that, but yeah. So, that Danny Parejo's on the bench. Why is he on the bench? Um, okay, so that's the best squad. So, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of of the rest of the right mid so we're gonna keep a 4-4-2 uh, that's probably the best way because we do have two good strikers we do want both of them in so okay Barenia, Barenia is also gonna be released he's a right wing Lamela is gonna be released as well so this, this is how tough we're going we have to release everyone just so it's just Diego Line is playing uh Moria as well and if he does get injured obviously then that's different Chuck Wazy here getting released Raju getting released and Martin also getting released so as you can see now Diego Line is the only right mid here Hopefully he does perform a little better. I'm hoping that maybe he get, at least gets five goals and then a couple of assists. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and check the competitions and get back to you guys. Okay, so as you can see, Villarreal are in the Europa League. So the line is for a second year in a row will be in the Europa League against Wolfsburg, Standard Liège, and Servet FC. So it's going to be a really, really important uh, season for him. Hopefully he does perform with the only, being the only right mid in the squad. Hopefully he gets a lot of game time and he does do really well. So as you can see, we've seen a little bit of the season just to... I'll confirm if we do have your bullet. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and sim to January, see how it does. Okay, as you can see here, we have just reached January of the second season. Let's see how the squad's doing, and then let's look at the deal line. So we're gonna go ahead straight into the league table. And as you can see, 
the squad's not doing too well. Uh, tenth place, eighteen games played, seven wins, five draws, six losses. But I feel like this squad will turn it around. They're a good squad. Twenty-seven goals and twenty-six points. And as for the Europa League, let's see how they're doing. In the Europa League, they do pass in second place with 12 points, one, pay, one point behind Wolfsburg. But let's go to the main man. The main reason for this video is to look at Diego Linus. So, Diego Linus, how is he doing? Where is he at? Diego Linus. And he should be right, right here. So, only five appearances. So, there's someone that's taking away his game time. We're going to have to figure out who that is. Uh, five appearances, like I said. One, one assist in the La Liga, so it's not looking too well for him. Who's playing over him? That's my question. So we're gonna have to find out who's playing over him. Obviously he's not playing, we don't know why. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the wingers. Ontiver also played 16 games, but there's no other winger playing games, so I'm not sure who's the one playing. Is it one of these players that's just playing on the wing, or? Probably Mario Gonzalez, maybe? I'm not sure, but anyways, like I said, it's not looking too well for him right now. Diego Linus hasn't been in the best form. So hopefully he does pick it up towards the end of the season. So let's go ahead to the end of the season and see how he does. So as you can see, we have reached the end of the season of season two. Let's look at how the squad's doing and then we're just gonna go ahead and look at the O-line. So we're not in the bottom 13, but we are in 10th place. So it's been a horrible, whole season for Villarreal. Maybe it wasn't the right move for the O-line. But I think we might tough it, tough it out here because we don't want to be moving too much. It's realistic that he does stay here for another season. 38 games played, 15 wins, 12 draws, 11 losses. At least we got more wins than losses at least but the league table look how really close it was or well, at least from seventh place we could have easily finished seventh place but we did drop points at the end so 57 goals and 57 points as for the europa league i know we didn't make the final but how far did we make it did we even make it past the first round and i don't think we did nope we did lose to porto on aggregate and for copa España, did we make it far as well or no we made it only to the quarterfinals we lost to levanta on penalty so now let's look at the main man so taking a look at the main man the whole line is he did pick up a little bit more games this time and he Performed pretty well. Three goals and two assists is not too bad. That's three more goals for him in La Liga and two more assists for him in La Liga as well. So, not too bad. Like I said, um, a little bit of improvement. But I'm hoping next season he does break out. If not, he's going to have a mediocre career. Uh, I'm keeping this to five seasons, at least for this first episode. And the second one that I do do. Because like I said, I'm going to be out of town. There's no way I must see feedback. So, yeah. Five, five goal contributions and 19 appearances is not too bad. I hope he really does improve a lot. Maybe he'll play a lot more since he is higher rated. He is now at a 78, so he has run up a plus two this season. So let's go on to the third season. I'm going to transfer list him, but I might not sell him if he uh, doesn't get a good offer. But anyways, let's go to the next season. So it's a new season. So this time we're going to go ahead and transfer uh, list the old line is once again. However, I did take up his release class sometime this time. So this time, if we do get a couple offers, we do get to choose because I, I feel like maybe Villarreal wasn't the most realistic and it was already said and done. So we had to move to Villarreal. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and start simming and see if we get any good offers. Okay, so we do get an offer here for Diego Linus for Borussia Mönchengladbach. So this is actually a better team and I'm really tempted. I know we just moved to Villarreal, but this Villarreal squad isn't looking too good. And obviously we can't sign any players to help the team out. So I think I'm considering it. I kind of want to delegate, just try to get the highest offer for um, Diego Linus. So I'm going to lower this to 50. And hopefully they don't say no. And if not, if they do say no, we'll just go ahead and down that again. We'll just accept anything that comes our way. But let's go sim a couple days, see what they say. Do get a second transfer offer from Burnley, which is really, really interesting to see Diego Linus in the Premier League. So, a Burnley Mucho Classback are offering 47 million. So we're going to go ahead and put 47 million for Burnley but I don't think that's a better uh transfer than Borussia Mönchengladbach but if Borussia Mönchengladbach do reject we will probably go to Burnley because Burnley seeing them in the Premier League would be amazing so Burnley have been offered to pay 47 but Mönchengladbach 48 so we're gonna go ahead and accept Borussia Mönchengladbach uh we're gonna go to the Germany if he does accept a contract I'm gonna sim one day I'm gonna sim two days and accept the Burnley just in case the Mönchengladbach offer does not go through because I think he's having a terrible terrible time at Villarreal, the team isn't too good. They did horribly this season. They truly underperformed. So, want to go ahead and just sim a couple days. Like I said, I've just accepted the Burnley offer. Let's see where he chooses to move to. So, as you can see, it's confirmed for 48 and 3 million. Um, the online has gone to the Bundesliga. So, we're gonna go ahead and follow him to the Bundesliga. So, as you can see, we've been offered the Mucho Glad Mac job. We're gonna go ahead and move. Take a look at the squad, see his best position. We can maybe, maybe even switch him to a cam. As you can see, maybe the winger is not working for him. So let's go look at the squad and see how they're playing. So they're playing with a cam, which is pretty interesting. So as for the right mids, they have a couple right mids, but how about the cams? Do they have... I feel like playing them at cam is a little bit more dangerous because there's a lot of sentiments that can play at cam. So I do maybe want to keep them in the right mid, shall we? 
you know what? Let's change it up. We'll put him out of camp. We'll release the camps so he can play there. So he'll be playing at camp with uh, the likes of uh, Rafael Borre up top. He's the best one. Turam on the left wing. Doan here on the right mid. And Zakaria playing at center back. Uh, let's change it to Bednarek and put Zakaria here. So this is a really, really good squad. To be honest, better squad for sure than Villarreal. So hopefully he does. Who is this? He does have a good season here. So we're going to go ahead and change his position to a camp. And we're just going to go ahead and just sim to the end of the season and see how he does. So as you can see, we have regenerate of the third season. Let's see how he's doing. Squad, they're in sixth place, which is not too bad. 17 games played, 10 wins, 3 draws, 4 losses, 23 goals, 33 points. But uh, are they in the Champions League? Actually, I forgot to check. Uh, they might be in the Champions League or the Europa League. Uh, let's see. Champions let's check the Champions League first. And no, uh, they weren't in the Champions League. Oh, were they? Mm, no, they were probably in the Europa League then. The Europa League, I'm pretty sure they would, yeah, they passed, they did pass, so they did finish second to Braga, which is really bad to see. Braga are not the best team, three wins, three draws, and 12 points. But let's go look at the main man for sure. So, taking a look at Lightness with his new position, he played a lot of games this season. As you can see, we released a lot of players from the camp position. There's a bunch of players 22 games played, five goals, probably his best record so far, and one assist. So, he's looking really, really good this season. So, let's go to the end of the season. Hopefully, he continues this performance. So we have reached the end of the season of season three. Let's see how he has done so far. So beginning at the league table, how did this team do? Fifth place is not too bad. That is guaranteed Europa League football for them once again. So 34 games played, 20 wins, six draws and eight losses, 66 points with 50 goals. But oh, actually, let's look how we did in the Europa League. I forgot to do that in the Europa League. How have we finished so far? And nope, we didn't make it to the final. We lost. Oh, bro, we lost in the round 32. So not the best season from them in the Europa League. Now let's look at his stats. So taking a look at him, 30 appearances, 6 goals and 1 assist. At a camp position is not really, really bad. Obviously, I was hoping for maybe a little bit more of assist. But as long as he's playing, that's good. So he has grown to an 80 rating. Not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the final, I mean, to the fourth season. Hopefully, his breakout year. We're going to keep him at camp. He did really good in the camp position. So hopefully, he continues like this. But anyways, let's move on to the next season. Okay, so as you can see, we are in season four, and the all is is still at an 80 rating. So we're just gonna go ahead. Um, I don't want to transfer this to him. I actually want to keep him here for season four, and maybe uh, for the last season we will transfer him. See if he does good in a big club. But he's doing pretty well here. I'll uh, try to help Mucha Gladbach become a big club. So we're gonna go ahead and sim to January and see how he's gonna do. So as you can see, we have reached January of the fourth season, one season before the final season. Let's see how the squad is doing. So. Looking at them, they're, they started off way better than last season. They're in third place, trying to look for that Champions League places. If they stay in the Champions League, we might just might as well keep the line here if he doesn't get a better offer. As for the Europa League, how are they doing? Did they pass to the uh, group stages? Yes, they did. Finished in first place, undefeated, 18 points. So, now the main man, Deo Linus. Deo Linus, 16 appearances, on, probably not the most appearances. Maybe he got injured or something. Four goals and three assists. That's not too bad. He's slowly getting amongst the goals throughout the season. He's still an 80 rating. But anyways, let's go ahead into the end of the season, see how he finishes up. End of the, the end of the season, of the fourth season, one before the final season. We did reach a cup final, but we did lose some penalties. But anyways, no Europa League final as well. Let's go look at the squad, see how they did. So as you can see, they dropped out of the Champions League, missed it out by six points. So maybe I'm just trying to get the all to another club, but we'll see. Uh, let's see who offers. But anyways, in the Europa League, we did not reach the final as well. Where did we... We made it to the quarterfinals this time, lost an aggregate to Sociedad, but going back to the main part of the video, let's look at the o -Linus. The o -Linus finishes with a strong, strong season. 34 appearances, 10 goals, finally reaches double digits, and three assists. Not too bad. He had a really, really good season. So, next season, we're going to go ahead and try to transfer this to him, see if we can get him for a better squad, because he's in the Europa League again. We we'll at least want to give him a one Champions League season. So, anyways, great performance by him, to be honest, his best season so far. But anyways, let's get on to next season. We are in the final season for Diego Linus, this Wonder Kid review. We're going to go ahead and transfer this to him, like I said. Hopefully, we do get a good side, maybe even in the Champions League. But anyways, let's go see him a couple days, see who offers for him. Okay, so we got a really interesting offer here, and I'm not sure if I should take it. I'm going to send like three days with this offer and wait to see if we get an offer. So it is a swap deal for PLS 3 plus 3.8 mil. So that will take off his transfer budget. So I kind of want to do an offer with just money. So I'm going to skip a couple days, see if we get another offer. If now we're gonna try it and delegate because I want to see how much he does cost over these five seasons. But we're gonna go ahead and send him like three days, see if we get another offer. Okay, so no new offer has come up, so we're gonna go ahead and negotiate. We don't want Pelestri to be there, we want to see how much Diego Linus would cost them. So I did say he was worth like 120 mil. So we're gonna go ahead and remove exchange player. We're gonna go, let's go 90 million. Let's see what they say about that. 
we're trying to sell the online is for 90 million and they do say yes so um just depending if the online is does leave we'll be up to him and if we'll follow him to he went to so we have to so let's see him a couple days to see what happens so as you can see he has rejected a move to Juventus. if you can see on the right side so we do we do have an offer here from um uh, tottenham so i actually want to see how much we can get for him so it looks like about 100 million so we're gonna go ahead and negotiate see how much we can get so they have offered 95 million let's try to put like 120 let's see what they say and they say 95 million that's the highest they're gonna pay i'm gonna go for 100 mil let's see what they say about that that's probably the last offer we're gonna get and tottenham is probably not the best side hopefully they're in the champions league though and they do accept so let's see what the o-liners has to say so we also get another offer here from liverpool which is gonna accept it because i feel like liverpool is a better squad to go to so depending on what line it says we'll go and follow him for the last season so as it looks like as you can see on the bottom right he has rejected both contract offers for these premier league sides so we do get an offer for leipzig i do want to accept it because leipzig is a better squad uh in the Bundesliga. so let's see what he says about that because he's been rejecting every team so far but let's give him a couple days to see what he's as you can see he has rejected leipzig as well who is he gonna go to bro i i really want him to move we don't have the best squad some players left on a free so the squad is not looking good because they, they wouldn't accept contracts so let's see him a couple days the season's getting close hopefully he does accept an offer soon okay so we get two new offers both from premier league sides i'm just gonna go ahead and accept both of them watch him just reject both of them my united and chelsea hopefully he goes to one of these two squads it would be really interesting to see him in the premier league but again let's see him a couple days let's see which one he accepts if he accepts one so we do probably get one last final offer for Linus. He rejected Manu and Chelsea as well. So hopefully he accepts his PSG contract. But we're going to see. We're going to go accept the offer. Let's see what he has to say before the season starts. As you can see, he has rejected PSG. Benfica did come in, but I said no. That squad is not good enough for Diego Linus. So we're going to go ahead and continue. There's still a couple days left in the transfer window. Let's see if he does accept an offer. So we have offered as well to sign the house again because I forgot to look at his contract. So it's not really fair that we did set him so we're gonna go ahead and bring him back if we can just in case the old line is does stay so currently three hours left in the transfer deadline day and we do get an offer from barcelona so i'm just gonna go ahead and accept it even though it's not money but i would like to see the old line is there there was there another offer uh we brought back some players by the way who um who were released on a free so is it uh well yeah it's the only offer so if he somehow does leave in these last three hours We'll go ahead and follow him to Barcelona. If not, he'll go ahead and stay here and hopefully help Mucha Gladbach into the top four on his final season. And let's see. Oh, we have to do negotiations for Daka. We're just going to go ahead and uh, just negotiate, try to get him as quick as possible. So I'll see you guys if he does transfer. So as you can see, he stays here in Mucha Gladbach. They couldn't get a deal done at Barcelona. He rejected a total of like 12 clubs for him. I guess he just wants, really wants to stay here. So in his last season, he will be staying here, staying put in Mucha Gladbach. So he's at an 82 rating right now. Let's just put the best uh, lineup because some of these players did leave. Okay, and that should be good. Okay, so hopefully he has a really, really good season. Take him to the Champions League, perform in the Europa League. But let's go to January, see how he does. We have reached January of the final season. Let's see how the squad's doing and see how Linus is doing. So as you guys can see, it's not a great start. We're in seventh place, 17 games played, eight, game, eight wins, six draws, three losses, 29 goals and 30 points. So let's see how Linus is doing. As you can see, a decent start, 5 goals, 2 assists, and 22 appearances, not too bad. So let's go ahead into the end of the season, on the final season, see how he does throughout the whole career. So we have reached the end of the season for the final season one last time. Let's check out the league, the Europa League, and the O-line is the main important. The O-line is successfully led them to top 4, which is something I was looking for this season. 34 games played, 21 wins, 7 draws, 6 losses, 70 goals, and 70 points. So really, really good season. As for the Europa League, how far did they go? I'm not sure they went pretty far. We... They made it to the round 16, which they lost to Valencia. So let's look one last time at the O-liners. Taking a look at him one last time, 18 goals and 44 appearances with nine assists is not too bad. He has reached an 85 rating, not too bad for five seasons. Obviously, he's still 24, but we like to keep this five seasons so the video is not too long. Obviously, in a couple years, maybe he will even reach a 90 rating. Who knows? But yeah, a great, great season for him so far. But I did have his stats written down, so I'll let you guys know of his all-time stat. Okay, so in five seasons, Diego Linus, in five seasons, obviously, 165 appearances 38 goals and 14 assists so it's not too bad he did have a change of position and obviously he didn't start every game a couple seasons back so obviously now it would be more of the time where he does start more and he will have you know better stats throughout the season but like i said five seasons should be enough so do i recommend you guys say diego linus 
yes, but you guys need a good squad around him because he can't do everything by himself. He's not one of those wonder kids who just carries. He dribbles a lot, but obviously, if the team can't finish, he doesn't get assists. Or if maybe he's not the best finisher, to be honest. So, yeah. He is going to be a huge, huge star, in my opinion, for the Mexican national team in the future, especially in the 2026 World Cup, which should be around his prime. But anyways, let's go ahead and end the video. So like I said, this video might be all over the place. It was a new series I thought of on the spot uh, right away. So if you guys did not enjoy it, it's fine. Leave it in the comments. You guys don't want to see this again. But I'm going to make one more video about this, at least, or maybe even two for this week that I'm leaving. So um, like I said, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell to get notified anytime we do post. Uh, we have just reached 100 subscribers. The next goal is 200. But anyways, I'd like to consider this, um, I guess, experiment. Wonder Kid review. An, I'll give them... Let, let's do this we'll give them a review so i think i'll give the online is a b plus it wasn't uh the best five seasons he could have had but it wasn't the worst you get me so we're gonna give the online is a b plus but anyways you guys do the things that you love the things that make you happy and just be yourself man it's been your boy joy thank you guys for watching have a nice day and chamos